Hey, welcome back to the podcast. Today, we're going to explore the critical conversations when producing content specifically in, I'm assuming, short form, maybe some long form video. Yep. And to help me get there, I've got Mr. Video, Jason Pantana, and I've got Mr. Exactly What to Say, Phil M. Jones. So, fellas, we did a lot of prep. We spent a lot of time getting organized for this podcast. There's, there's a really good chance that somebody out there right now is creating content because they think they should create content. And there's a big divide between content creators and I would argue thoughtful content creators. Mm -hmm. Thoughtful around who is my audience? Yep. Thoughtful around, are they in my funnel? If they're in my funnel, where are they in my funnel? Um, if I'd like that to, them to enter my funnel, what is that conversation? Are they someplace around the world or are they in my backyard? So I'm hoping that today between you two brilliant guys, I can ask enough questions to, to make sure that the person listening right now or watching right now could take an, an army set of notes and produce a bunch of really great, what is an army set of notes? I'm gonna have to think about that. An army know. set of notes, hmm. I was just thinking like a stack of like a giant. A you just mean a lot of notes. A lot of notes. <laughs> a lot of Mr. Notes. Exactly What to Say has corrected me. <laughs> okay, one to nothing, Phil. Okay, all right, so, so Jason, what in your mind are the most important videos thinking about what I just said. Yep. You just came off stage at the elite. You just walked us through sort of this eight different archetypes of people that are creating content. If, if we were to do a little brainstorm jam session with the three of us right now, what are the videos you think the average person listening, and I don't mean you average, I mean you elite, but you know what I'm saying. What video should they be producing right now? Let's go kind of one at a time and then let's just attack it. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just start with a list just to get us rolling. Okay. And and I want to echo what you said because I don't want to contradict that. Mm -hmm. That you have to determine why you're doing it. What are you building? Mm -hmm. Who are you attracting? Mm -hmm. Those questions mm -hmm. matter foundationally. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'll start with green screens. So right now we know Instagram Reels, Heck TikTok, yeah. and those mm -hmm. videos are killing it mm -hmm. just in terms of mm -hmm. short form vertical mm -hmm. content. Yep. Uh, one of the downsides is that the attention is really really fleeting. So you have Already? seconds to hold people's attention, mm -hmm. which means you got to crush it with a hook. Each of these platforms, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels, all offer a handy dandy feature called a green screen. Yep. It is an effect whereby it removes you in a selfie mode style video from your background. Yep. And what a lot of our awesome coaching clients are doing, they're learning it at our events like Edge and so forth, is we're teaching them how to use these videos whereby they basically screenshot or they screen record key articles. So maybe you set up a Google alert. Like, like this one right here that I just did, which is a uh, 30 year fixed down 0.05% to 5.99, which is a tremendous number, 15 year fixed yeah. at, at five. And again, rates are gonna be lower than this, but this is based on mortgage So you're largely doing daily. commentary over something that is Correct. important or relevant Correct. at that time, as if like the weatherman or the weather yes, woman exactly. documenting about what's happening at that moment in time. And so, one of the advantages <laughs> is a lot of folks are struggling with, well, what do I make my content about? Yes. But in this case, you're reacting to already trending news and you're positioning yourself as the expert, giving commentary to what's happening and keeping your community informed about events that are relative to what you do and to them. So let's shoot one right now. All right, Phil, rates have dropped to 5.99. Right. They were as high as 7.2 nearly, okay. nearly 90 days ago. We know that you know rates have a big impact on buyer psychology. You have four seconds to captivate them. Tell me when you're ready. I'm not ready. Because the worst time to think about the thing you're going to say is in the moment when you're saying it, right? <laughs> it's not fair to be I, able to do that. I thought I almost got a point. I thought you right? I almost got a point. Should I use these? But, but, yes. the, but, the, but the point is, 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 is actually well, if you are looking to be able to win with video, yes. it isn't about just doing it for the sake of doing yes. it. If you've only got four seconds to be able to captivate them, if you need a killer hook, you probably shouldn't just press the damn button and go live. You should yes. probably think in for a second is what outcome or objective am I looking to? Mm -hmm. What I would be looking to do if I am trying to get quick attention in a video is some form of contextual setup. Mm -hmm. So what might I be saying is, is you've no doubt heard that there has been a lot of movement in interest rates over the last few months mm -hmm. and are probably wondering how that impacts you, your life, your family. Mm -hmm. So something that hits the show me that you know me button as quick as possible in the opening of that video would be entirely necessary. And I do think these green screen videos are important. I just also think they're not the only video that's no. important. Oh, no. we're doing one example of something that is still very fiery right now, yeah. right? Um, more, more than likely someone does something like this, they could have 100,000 views, right? right? Which is an enormous number of people. Yep. Um, but again, we're gonna get more into the local views sure. mattering more. But give us that, like, 
walk us through like maybe two or three variations of like a a different a different way to open that up. So well, I, well, I have a piece of content. I want to share the news. I have a tendency to go like this. Hey, did you see that the rates just went to? Which you know, please don't ever say hey guys ever again. I don't know anybody that watches videos with a group. We're usually sitting by myself. Right. Like, who else is in this room? Who else me? is who, who are the guys <laughs> that I'm watching this with? And and you know if you do this because there's so many. Hello. Hey hey guys. And I'm like. I'm by myself. Well, there is a time where that might exist to be the yes. right way of communicating yes. when the decision is that there is a tribe of people out there. A lot mm -hmm. of people who've built following that have said, you know, there's a proud association that the mm -hmm. bulk of those people on the other side of that all feel that same sense of belonging. But yes. for most of us, you know, we are casting lines one to many, which is actually one to 2,223 individual people, not one, 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 not you, one to you, a group. You, you, you. Yes. Hey guys, might be useful if there is a proud association, but it isn't necessarily true. What am I saying is the universal belief at the front end of any video is to remember that content before context is noise. World is noisy enough right now. Yep. So if you want to be able to have people jump into your content, set the context up first. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, might be context to somebody that is already believing that they're part of something. This is for Correct. me, this is if for you're me. Talking I can't my, miss my it because I'm gonna meet these people. Yep. Like this yep. is a tribe. Mm -hmm. But in most sense of circumstances, you want to hit show me that you know me button as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. So some form of hypothetical contextual statement that says, there's been a lot of noise right now about interest rates. And you're probably thinking, mm -hmm. what does that mean for you? Mm -hmm. What does that relate towards your circumstances? And how do you make decisions giving all that change? Mm -hmm. Or like if you are in that line of thought, that goes bang, that's me mm -hmm. real quickly. Mm -hmm. And I think in short form video, you've got to talk straight to the person that you want to be able to act and yes, be okay totally. missing everybody else. Yes, and be okay with the smaller number of views, but the right views. Absolutely, which goes against the grain of a lot of social media yes. guru-based advice. Yeah. Right. But the reality is you get what your content attracts. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately, you have to be willing, I would argue, to sacrifice vanity metrics if those vanity metrics aren't in alignment with what you're really trying to achieve. Yes. And so in the case of setting the context, I agree. I would also say that most likely what will happen because that is such a contextually relevant statement, the algorithm will quickly learn who to show it to, who's willing to watch it. Yep. So it's mm -hmm. gonna start working on your behalf yes. pretty pretty darn quick. Yep. So I would say that setting context is actually not only important for, the, important for the viewer, but it's equally as important for the algorithm so it knows who the viewer is. I hadn't thought of that yet. I think you're probably right with that. I, th yes. I think so too. Yeah. All right, hold on. <laughs> Do I get point. a point? You Cashew get a point. For me? All, right, All right, I get a point. I feel like I'm just in the middle of this whole thing. Point, point, point. <laughs> yeah. Cashew, cashew. All right, so give us one other variation. So let's talk about something else that maybe is newsworthy right now. So right now, market by market is going to be different, but maybe in your market, you're seeing multiple offers are back. So, so give us another opening, thinking of context, how this might be relatable to someone that could be thinking about selling a long time ago, or maybe even someone that was thinking about selling four or five months ago when they felt perhaps prices mm. in the world fell apart. So, so we're still in a green screen, green screen video over the top of sure. something else. Sure, I could be standing in front of a sold sign. I could be standing in front of a recent listing I just Yeah, let's sold. shift it to that. Let's, yeah, do that, let's do that. I'm standing in front of a recent sold sign. I'm sitting with five offers, Okay. paper offers. That sounds old school, but you're all, you're all with me on this. I'm looking at five paper offers and I'm, I'm looking at this and I wanna shoot a video. What you might be saying is in the last seven days, I've spoken to 15 people that are all questioning whether the house they bought in 2020 is the right house to live in. And should they be looking to move? And if they are looking to move, is now the right time to sell? What are they gonna move to? And I'm just gonna lay out all of this understanding of, oh, dang, you're in my head to that given set of circumstances. Mm -hmm. So I might come directly at a group of people that are thinking of moving, but have actually bought a house two, three years ago. Right, that might be something that I shoot at from a from a context, but I'd be very clear on who are the thirty people in my following that I'm actually really talking to at this moment right. in time. Mm -hmm. Right, say so can I get them with the hook? Not yes. how do I get this mass attention? Yep. There are, you know, there are people following you for a reason. I'd like to think past clients should be following you. Mm -hmm. I hope so. And that past client route is somebody you can very quickly say. I'm gonna get inside your head and I'm gonna help understand mm -hmm. what the conversation is you're having behind my back and I'm gonna try and join the conversation you're having behind my back so I can get a seat at the table and my opening would lean straight towards that. So coach me through this. Should I just say, if you bought a home between 2019 and 2022? You could say that, but now what you sound like is a salesperson. 
Okay, so coach me. So story base it by setting context, by saying that one of the most interesting conversations I've been having most recently with many local people is. Yes. Should I or shouldn't I move? Particularly people that bought homes in 2020 and 2021 that bought for a different world than the world that we live in today. You see how very quickly is is now we've got this new context. Point. <laughs> No, Point. I feel like I have to say something smart to get a cash in. <laughs> <laughs> what will it take? We want to see, like, we're recording, pointer. we're recording yes. this in Vegas, yes. and I feel like we've got to take these to the tables later and see how we get on with them. <laughs> That's, this is a $5,000 chip. Like One of you my might <laughs> win it. So, Jason, when you hear that, uh, where do you think the average listener is going with it? Well, so... I love the idea and I echo the idea of appealing to the 30 or so who are within my yes. my group of listeners or followers for whom that message is most applicable. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of different ideas in terms of how I might approach it. I have more um, cashews. Okay, so one idea is you could leverage maybe the duo cam feature potentially inside of one of the platforms where it's like, it starts with this camera mm -hmm. and you're like, hey, you're at the desk and you have all the five documents. Hey, mm -hmm. look at this, everybody. And I've got a little clickbait in the beginning mm -hmm. And then it flips to me and it says, I haven't seen that in a while and I'm guessing you haven't either. What you're looking at is, and you could talk about the offers and create not necessarily an invitation for them to do anything other than know the context yeah. of what you're seeing in the marketplace. Yeah. I think it depends on what you're offering to your followers. So let's play this out. I love the uh, taking something from the national news and then showcasing so it's funny, the other day I was reading this article in the Wall Street Journal who said yeah. the world is about to die and real estate is over. And yet, here are five offers right. on a listing I just took a few days ago. And the reason I share this with you is not the offers. I share it with you because it's important that you understand what's happening with your home's value today. Give the man a cashew. Oh my goodness, I won a cashew. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this needs to come back <laughs> over to the house. <laughs> yes, it's two to one. But so again, for my friend watching, all we're trying to do is is thoughtfully try and give you another perspective with the next time you're shooting a video. Yeah. So let's do another one. I, I had a thought in my head around, I want to shoot a video to a cohort of buyers that I met in August, September, October, November. And if you study the US home prices, we saw a dip in home prices in October. We saw a massive decline in number of transactions. Um, we went from selling five to selling literally 4 million total yep. you know, resale units. So there's this cohort of customers right now. Right. This is probably worthy of a oh, wow. chocolate covered almond Feeling pressure. for the best, for the best uh, approach here that are sitting on the sidelines and they don't know. Mm. They don't know. So how do I position a video Mm -hmm. to connect with them with where they're at, acknowledge maybe some of the fears or anxiety they had or not, I don't know, to bring them back to life. Let me learn a little more about this from you, from this scenario. So so how many people, you say a few over this time period, if you're the agent in this, how many? I bet the person watching right now has five, so, seven, so ten. So five, seven, ten. You can count them. Mm -hmm. You see their faces. Yeah. You understand a little bit of context yeah. about them. So you've got a huge amount of insight. Mm -hmm. If you're going to shoot a video for these people is why does it have to be one video for all of them when you could just Go take the time, time to craft well, the one at a time and send it using a really cool app like text message yes oh wow that's a special that's right is i don't know they're going to go there you might have to download that Maybe, yes. maybe, <laughs> yes. if it's an Android, Please, right? Yeah, get an iPhone. <laughs> he's, he's put this video on like a so, DVD. So and we're, going, <laughs> we're not going to go there. Well, but like it, it can be a one-on-one -on -one yes. video. And I think yes. is this ability to be able to use a modality that everybody else is trying to say, how do I get one to many? And say, I can turn it into one to you. So let's do a Tom and Kathy. We were on the fence. We were looking at homes with you. Here's yep. the context. We were looking at homes with you. Um, we wrote an offer in May. We didn't right. get it. Let, let's go back. We wrote an offer in January. We yep. didn't get it. We got super disappointed. Then, you know, we had a bunch of business dealings and things that got in the way. And then we circled back around with you in May and there was just no nice homes on the market. Then the rate spiked and it freaked us out. And even though our kids have now been born yep. and we desperately want to be in school district A and have a little more space for all the obvious reasons, we have been sitting on the sidelines, still lurking all over Realtor, Zillow, Redfin and everything else. I read your emails, but we haven't engaged in a while. What video do you send me with that context? I would probably purposefully take an environment that says I was thinking of them. And I'd probably shoot the video from in my car while sat in my driver's seat, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And I would use opening fact question. And the, you know, the opening would be like, hey, it's me. 
because they mm -hmm. can see you. They know. Um, the facts would be what you just laid out. I know back in the fall that you were looking to be able to move and that we we tried on a few and we missed on a few and it didn't quite work out. And there's been a lot of change that's happened in the marketplace. And I was thinking that it might be time for us to revisit and learn what the next play needs to be. So I just lay out the facts that are in this video. Yeah. Oh, FQ. Yeah. And the question that's then gonna come at the come at the end is an easy to answer question is, you know, are you guys, are you guys still interested in moving at some point this year? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to extend it out. Yeah. Like here we are recording yeah. this in January. The question is, like, I'm going to give myself a long runway to get their yeah. engagement back in yeah. and just look to get a response back in the other direction. But if I send that in text message, they'll see when it's read it yeah. and it shows some form of, I was thinking about you in order yes. to get to take this. I desperately wouldn't put it through any of the portals that are like the, the video send email. No, no portals. just no, it needs to look natural, authentic, just, Hey, I was thinking about you guys the other day and You're right. Right. Series, opening, opening series facts of facts that says, I remember January, this stuff. This happened tried. in March. We tried. Yeah. And then, you know, you guys had some circumstances that yeah. I honored. We circled back around in May and then the rates went up to seven. And then just fact, 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 fact. And I would probably I care, try, I care, and, I care. try and lay some yeah. of those facts that says a lot has changed yes. rather than all of the bad news sure. is there's been a lot of change. And what seems to be changing for many is that now's a better time than it was back then. Yeah. yeah. So I, I try and simplify it to create some optimism into the conversation that has them feeling like I've been waiting for them. Yes. Mm. Is yes. The, the feeling the other side of this video needs to be like, oh, he has been thinking about me all of this time. And actually I was right to have made no moves over the last three, five, seven months. But now's mm -hmm. the time for us to be able to re-put this back on the agenda. It, it needs to feel like you meet them where the music is being timed. And if yes. you can achieve that, you could send seven video messages that take you a minute each to be able to record and be sat here the following day with some big hitting appointments ready to get to work on. I would take that conversation from the standpoint of, I agree in, in this specific scenario, the one-on-one -on -one personal text message yes. video is absolutely the way to go. If you're listening, you were saying, well, how can I start curating that message to a broader audience? Yes, because I do social want to media that setting. Mm -hmm. So something we've been talking a lot internally about is these ideas of dog whistle calls yep. to action. And so a dog whistle call to action is basically a call to action that is like a dog whistle. Only, only the intended recipient of the offer can hear yep. it. To everybody else, it's just part of the message. Mm -hmm. And so I would look to use one of those in the videos where you don't want to be too niche and isolate a broader viewership but you want to be widely appealing to everybody else. And I think you could go back to the scenario of like the, the news about rates decreasing. Right. And it could simply be say like, hey, you might be aware that I was posting videos before, we saw rates shoot up and here's the impact it had in the marketplace. I'm always here to keep you in the know. A lot of folks maybe put themselves on the sidelines because of that event. And it looks like the market, there's been a lot of good change. Well, if you do both these things at the same time, you've got sales and marketing working together. Yeah. So what you do is you lean into those yep. seven people, you make those one-on-one -on -one outreaches, they engage back in. Now, what is your video seven days later that's going out to the masses is over the last yeah. week, I've had some really interesting conversations with people that were looking to move last fall and they failed to be able to achieve that outcome. Bingo. And what they're now realizing is that this is the perfect time to re-enter the market. Yes. So I'm using that truth to create this truth, telling a never ending story that means all of your marketing is no, 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 overlaying I, each other. I actually think- Oh, do we both get one? You guys both get this, one. This is because like seeing cheers. it play together. And yeah. it's not like a piece yes. of content, a piece no. of content, a piece of content. Yeah. We're building a never ending story in all areas. I, I promise both of you, the person watching right now could be a team leader right. sure. who has tens, if not hundreds of these. They could be so many of my friends that have used one of our postcards that got 500 hand raisers, which is the next one I want to do around Ooh. sellers, 500 hand raisers from one mailer. So, so this was really good. So both worthy of a chocolate. <laughs> well, Let's, I want to add one more point to it. Yes. There's also an opportunity if you're going to do it like a video to everybody where you could put some engagement calls to action as well. Yes. Not just the dog whistle, but it's like, Hey, by the way, if you know somebody who's feeling stuck, maybe share this video with them at the very end yes. Yes. and then let them go identify the people within your audience. That are, Great. Thank you. I like positive Tied. reinforcement. Tied. I was playing a lot with the dog whistle, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, have a treat. Yes. <laughs> thank okay. you. Okay. So, so um, I have been obsessed since the last summit with so many people have been arbitraging Zillow Realtor. And I'm not, I'm not dogging those people. And you know, some of them in your marketplace and they're selling hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of buyers and they're doing, a, they're doing a service, right? Yep. 
And yet what I know is when I, when I do a deep dive in the US MLSs, so for my friends around the world in the US MLS where we have a little more access to data, what we see is that uh, take a cohort like LA, Orange County, San Diego, 80.9% of the active agents, meaning that they, they sold one house in the last 12 months, mm-hmm. not the people that have a license, but the active agents sold one house. That group represents two listings sold on average, call it 46% of the market. Then I look at the top 6%, so many of our clients, that that tiny little cohort of agents, they represent 33% of the market. So what we're seeing is, as always, it's the rich and the rest, right? It's it's these guys and gals that are listing too, and, and I hope you're not one of them. If you are, pay, pay special attention. So we start saying, what if we could just create soft hand-raising offers? Mm-hmm. You know, like a, a simple one could be... Um, I would list my home in the spring with Nancy if I could sell my home for X on a postcard. Text the number X to Nancy. And and now we just have some engagement. Of course, some people are gonna say, you know, $7 trillion. And some some are gonna say 895,000. Right. And and what we're seeing is that, or the QR code, curious about the value of our home. And so many other things that are, what is old is new, but QR codes brought back some ease and ways for people to raise their hands. Uh, Last night we were in this little mastermind and I had, uh, not to say their names to be fair to them, three different people that had sent out 10,000 examples of these postcards that are now sitting on over 500 people, full form fill out. Wow. Tom and Kathy Ferry, one to the Roman Banana Street, da 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 da. I want to know the value of my home. Those are gold. Mm-hmm. Now, we know Mike Fields and so many other clients are now because they've been doing this since the summit, they're like, they're taking listing after listing after listing because they're nurturing and they're following up and they're making that, right. that personal connection. What is a video I should send to that group? To the 500 mm-hmm. who completed the form fill on, yep. for instance, yeah. curious about the value of your home postcard with a QR Correct. code. How long ago did they complete the postcard? Yes. The it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> In right, some time see. period. In some time period. Mm-hmm. All right. I, can I put one on the house? Well, yes, let's, this, give some, this is- let's give some context to this that maybe Jason, that the, yeah. what's happened is that you've tried some standard outreach because you're not going to necessarily jump straight to a video. Your mm-hmm. video is going to be mm-hmm. for one of two purposes, mm-hmm. right? It's either to see the conversation that you're looking to be able to yeah. have. So you're going to respond promptly with a video to set some scene for the conversation that you're looking to be able to have and provide some evidence, maybe give yourself something to chase, or you're mm-hmm. going to put it in a, I've tried to contact this person three, four, sure. five times in other ways. So I'm going to use it as a last ditch. So it's either ahead of or behind of this yep. scenario to yeah. serve it. And you can even add a 2B to his last one, which is the I've already unsubscribed and I'm okay. no longer answering. Right. So I, I raise my hand. I want to know the value of my home and I've unsubscribed, which is like I walk in the clothing store and say, I need a new suit. Right. Someone walks up and says, hi, can I help you? And I'm, no, I'm just looking. And we actually took that and a $500,000 listing or a $20,000 or a $100,000 commission check and we took it and said, okay, so three different videos now. Okay. You so, go first. Oh, great. All right, so video number one is for the person who just scanned the code, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. And this could be an initial outreach or just a checking end mm-hmm. to see if they want to take action on yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for filling out my- Yeah, f- yeah. so it's going to be a one-to-one message, obviously. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is Jason Pantana with ABC Realty reaching out because you submitted your address to find out what your home is valued at in today's marketplace, which I'm sure you're aware is, there's a lot of change at work in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. I'm reaching out to see if you were serious about selling your house and at what price, Mm -hmm. let me know. That might be one initial idea. Okay. So let's take the same situation and and see how you can approach an angle or a lens on that same video. Yeah. Is I'd probably give them three options Mm -hmm. is you know, you've completed some information on a form and you're probably going to fall into one of three categories. You're well, either mm-hmm. this, yeah. you're this, or you're this. Yep. And, I, and what I would probably put is, is the first option I would suggest is is something that is is clunky and lumpy. Like, yeah. like, as in, well, you, you're, you're intrigued to understand like what the potential is that lives in your home as to what you might be able to do with that equity so that what you could do is release that equity to go on to be able to you know explore other ways of investing. Alternatively, you were just curious about what the number was going to be. Or more interestingly for both of us, and I'd label it, is that you've got some serious intent about perhaps looking to be able to make a move in the next 12, 18, 24 months in some way and knowing the true valuation of your yep. house will help you make a smarter decision around that. Yep. So please, please, pretty please, just shoot me a text message back. Are you A, 
like looking to better understand more about investing and what you could do to release equity. B, like just looking because you wanted to know the number for fun. Or C, that you are You're looking keen to make a move, to yeah. make a move at some point in the yeah. future. Just hit me A, B, or C back on a text message, and I yeah. try and remove all the friction in the response. Right. Yeah. See, I, I like that because one, mine assumed price was right. a, an important variable. Right. Which I don't know that it is or not. I mean, I assume it's a variable, but I don't know that it's the only variable. But I went, I went, and I hit the skewer for him, you, and I gave you, you my information because I wanted to know the value of my home. You did, but his didn't exclude that possibility. Right. No. It was just far no. more open ended. No. So I would definitely say that's the better play. Um, I think you have your opening fact and yeah. then you went into a three, you're this, this or that. Yeah, and, and yeah. hit me an A, B or C back in the other direction. And, and I'm making it okay for people to say, hey, I was just like messing just, around. Just curious. Yeah, I was it was curious. my kid. Right, and, and <laughs> they wanted to know what their uh, inheritance is. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. and there's all those things that are going to be true. And the fact that you call it out in the video, yeah. they're like, oh, I owe, you, I owe this a response. And right. you learn more about the success of right. your marketing metrics. You right. learn more about the insights of those people. And How even we, if I get the wrong response to that, I can still continue if this was maybe shared in a text or an email, I can still get it backwards and forwards with that individual for a period, find out what they might want to do in the yep. future, get mm-hmm. permission to stay in contact, mm-hmm. start the never ending story. Yeah. How would you handle it differently if they had unsubscribed? A B2 or a B. Yeah, was yeah. That, B, did I jump B1. one? No, no, that's, that's perfect. Let's do, let's do unsubscribe. There is a lot you might have had this happen before. You meet somebody at an open house and they say, hey, I absolutely want to know what's going on. Tell me more about this property. You put them on your email drip campaign and they unsubscribe. And that moment is the moment where you have the choice. You walked in the department store. You absolutely want to buy a suit. Someone walks up to you and says, hi, can I help you? And you're like, no, I'm just looking. And then you went and bought a suit, right? That person's going yeah. to interact. They're going to do something. Mm-hmm. Nobody go, like who in their right mind Right. fills out a form and says, here's my cell phone and email unless they want to talk to somebody. Their, their, their intent, well, I'm not saying their intent is high to move. Their intent for information is high. Their intent for information is high. Their intent to have a conversation isn't necessarily high. I didn't, yeah. their intent for information. Mm-hmm. And they might not want to have a conversation and they might not want to be bombarded with conversation. And we all do I, this. I as- would take might. They definitely don't want to be bombarded. Right. Because we, we find ourselves in this situation a lot, right? Is there's a gateway pop up as you want the thing that's the other side of it. Right. Okay, have my email address because right. I know I can unsubscribe later. Right. Like we, yeah. we are okay that we can do that. Yes. So would you send a video to somebody who unsubscribed? Well, in this case, I actually wouldn't to that point because they unsubscribed from all my communications, presumably. And so I think you have to get clear on what they're unsubscribing from. So this came up in the mastermind yesterday yes. to not yes. name names. So going... So there was a limited unsubscribing. It wasn't to all different more forms of communication. Mm-hmm. And so there was a conversation just for backstory sake that uh, the inside salesperson marked them as unsubscribed from an email drip system mm-hmm. that did not exclude them from, you could call and say like, hey, we noticed you turned that off. What does that mean? Right. They just, it was a blanketed nothing from anybody. Mm-hmm. Does that give a little bit more? Yeah, I guess so. And I think I'm with you that I would probably not make this the most important video I'm gonna record today. No. If this is somebody's unsubscribed, mm-hmm. there's probably a dozen other videos I'd look to make prior to getting to this one, which mean I'd never get to it. Yeah. What would the video <laughs> look like if I did have to be able to do this at this point oh, in time? Oh, oh, is I'd probably call it what it is. I'd I'd, yeah. I'd send a one last ditch communication right. to That's them. That's right. That's what I was thinking. I'd put a number of facts in there that yeah. says you signed up for this because you wanted to know this. Yeah. I also appreciate that we've sent you some emails that maybe you didn't want to receive at that level of frequency, mm-hmm. but uh, can you let me know? And I'd probably use the one, two, three options again. Yeah. I wonder if you could even use your, can you help me understand yeah. potentially yeah. as a way, and then you could go through the facts. What, what I'm looking for though, mm-hmm. is I'm not looking to sell to them. I'm looking for some honest information back right. in the other direction. The so game. I can recategorize right. them in my CRM so that right. what I can then do is understand what future communications could look like. Mm-hmm. Cause I know as a buyer in a lot of circumstances, I don't want regular emails because my need maybe is dropped. Mm-hmm. but that need could represent itself at some point in six, yes. 12 months from a priority point of yes. view. And I might be pretty happy just to ping somebody back saying, hey, call me on this in September. Yeah, right. And right, but, you can park right now, it, forget it, and yeah. then get next play. But mm-hmm. you've got to make a decision on that, whether it's record a video or not. Am I throwing this in the garbage to never see again, which yeah. is the no action point, mm-hmm. which is probably the worst thing to do, or am I going to try and get yeah. some permission to re-engage in conversation later? Yeah. Yes. Okay, one last video to shoot. There's a really good chance the person watching right now has an appointment that they're going on, that they're a little uncomfortable. And by uncomfortable, I don't mean you're uncomfortable with the prospect. You're uncomfortable with 
your chance of success. Hmm. So what, what message could we send to engage, build a little more rapport, maybe create a degree of separation, mm -hmm. maybe just maybe become a little more likable. Yep. Because, you know, Brandon and I know Brandon and they told me Brandon yep. and he's the local Brandon and I'm the slightly outside of the local, but you know, we engaged and we met how referred, whatever doesn't make a difference. And I just want an edge before I show up. What video would we send? So I only have, I only a, have a, one chocolate left. A listing appointment where you know you're in second place coming yes. up, or, or at yep. least you believe that you're in second place yes. in the race at yep. this point in time. And we're 100%. sending this before the appointment. Sending this before the appointment. Okay. Who wants to make the first move? You. <laughs> that was a mistake. I just you did. Did, just, you I just, just, did make the you first move. Just said, so I'm going to put the pressure on Phil. Right. That's not true. I don't want to make the first move. Uh, I'll tell you what. I think this depends on somewhat of your experience. If you're a new mm -hmm. agent versus mm -hmm. an experienced mm -hmm. agent. An experienced agent or a new agent, I believe it could be in your own personality. Mm -hmm. So if you're fuzzy and warm, that should show up in whatever video you send. Mm -hmm. You could send a video and say, hey, Tom, I'm so excited about tomorrow's meeting. Mm -hmm. I want you to know I'm prepping today and I'm going to come prepared to ask these questions. I wanted to give you a heads up on those questions mm -hmm. so we can really have a deep dive conversation mm -hmm. and get the most out of our time together. Yes. Really grateful for the opportunity. And then just be done. Nice. Something that like works. that. What's the setting? In what? What do you mean? What's the setting? Is it just iPhone? Is it no. you with a whiteboard? No, not Is in this it... case. I, I think this would somewhat depend upon what my concerns are for the reasons I'm maybe competitively not standing out. Right. So I'm going back to when I was a brand new agent, mm -hmm. when I was selling houses mm -hmm. and I was younger than everybody else. I don't think I would have been on my iPhone doing it selfie style. Mm -hmm. I would have been at a desk in a professional setting giving off the vibe that I'm working right now. Yes. And that and would have been could my even approach. be screen crap capture from your webcam, but with the standard, with Correct. a backdrop Correct. on it. The, That's right. Yeah, that would be nice. Correct. That's right. Yeah. That'd be my instinct. Yeah. And, and I think another choice that you could make as an alternative video, not that I'm not for, for that, is if you're going to find yourself in this situation on repeat, it might be the time that you invest in a high quality 60 second, three minute, seven minute, choice video mm. that that sets the scene that creates a wow moment with that individual that is beyond expectation that shares some statistics oh, yeah. about you and your backstory mm -hmm. showcases some of the credibility pieces and I'd, I'd call it my my eight mile video yeah so well that you know in the m m movie eight mile he's famous rap battle scene is about to to lose it because somebody's going to trash talk him with a number of things. So what he does is he puts it all out up front. Mm -hmm. So I take every known objection that you know that exists against you from yeah. being in second place. I'd put it in this video and see if I can change the frame of thinking of that individual before I show up. And I'd probably produce that, invest money in it mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and have something that serves yes. me for six months and then revisit it every right. six months with new stats right. and say, this is almost my bio. This is my resume video yeah. that I'm putting out there ahead right. of time that right. helps set the scene for the interview. Right. And I treat it like I'm trying to win the interview and I know I'm not the favorite. I know the internal yeah. candidate's favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm coming from mm -hmm. the outside and I'd see what I can do yep. to just hedge my bets. What about some OFQ with a because you told me? Right. Oh, that's nice. Right. Yeah. I really love the because you told me you guys wanted to move in a certain time frame. Mm. You were looking for da 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 and da 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 and da 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 and da 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 and da 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 da. If my goal was there, is I'd look to start the meeting before the meeting. Exactly. So I'd look for something that people could can report back in. So all I'd put out in the front of the video is I'm thinking about our discussion or our meeting that's happening on Saturday, putting some research in. What I'm preparing ahead of time is blank and blank and blank and blank and blank and blank, which is hitting the, because of the fact that you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I'd do is I'd just finish it with a simple question is, is there anything else you want to add? Bingo. Is there anything else that you, you know, that could be helpful for you ahead of time? That's great. And can mm -hmm. I get them to transact with me before they transacted with me, meaning they're more likely exactly. to transact with me? Exactly. Exactly. I think that little anything else, that's a great little kicker. Right. Is there anything else that I missed that's super what else? important to the two of you? Well, you can't not, not reply. Body. Hey, no, right. that sounds great. Well, actually, I'd love it if you yeah. could just talk to me a bit about blank or right. any chance you can just you know, run some mortgage numbers so I can know mm -hmm. a bit more about mm -hmm. affordability. Mm -hmm. You get the chance to be able to be more yeah. valuable for yeah. them or hey, telling home. you what valuable looks like to them. Right. Another home just came in the market. We just saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see it? Did you hear like all of that real time data? And again, Good. you know, the point here for, for my friend watching is um, anything that can be video should be video, Agreed. whether it's one-on-one -on -one yep. personal or in a, in a sort of forum setting as an educational piece, the, one of the great degrees of separation is just that 
I'm thinking about you. Right. Mm -hmm. how, many, how many times when you get a video from someone that just says, hey man, just want to wish you happy birthday. I know everybody's probably just sending you texts and saying, you know, HBDA, what, you know, right. like I'm actually yeah. saying happy birthday to you. Like people, people eat that up. They, they see your eyes, they make the connection. It's the likability factor. So And the chance they got that. to do those one-on-one -on -one videos is yes. huge. You go to a broker's open house, you go see a yes. new piece of real estate, et cetera. Yes. Like that is your backdrop every time sending one-on-ones, et cetera, right. is to prove that you're doing legwork in yep. the background for your buyers and sellers. Yep. And those are micro moments. Yep. And they're building up to yeah. a whole lot of rapport yeah. Yeah. that can get you a lot of leverage later on down the road. Right. Correct. Right. And I think the one-on-one -on -one videos inform the to whole market, to whole yeah. audience videos and right. seeing them being able to work in conjunction with each other. Yeah. That's good stuff. I had a client who uh, we mapped out on a whiteboard everything in like in like colored markers of all the different marketing methods. And we're like, you know, Facebook over here, and we're gonna explode this, and then YouTube, we're gonna explode this, and then Instagram, nice. and then the broker preview, then the mega open house, and it was the postcards, and like everything was everything <laughs> was awesome. up. And then across the top, we just wrote in the new address. That was it. And <laughs> right. it was just like, like, hey, we're working on your plan. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I know that may, you know, maybe you're gonna say that's cheesy. Oh, that's great. But like, actually, so it was like, Oh my God, like, so, so I'm so excited because you told me you guys wanted this and this. So I've already mapped out an entire strategy. Now it's going to take me potentially two weeks before I can launch it. And I promise you when we launch it, we are going to open up the largest number of potential buyers into your property. So I'm going to walk through all of this, but if you see on the wall, anything that I'm missing that you think is important in terms of showcasing your property, please let me know in a text. So what you're saying is don't just say it, but prove it. 1000%. Like, it, like if you're gonna show me you're doing the work, and I love the, hey, I'm a new agent, I wanna be behind the screen and I wanna look as professional as possible. And I think there's yeah. a ton of validity in that. I just know I've done this with enough other clients that it's I, just it's just one wall in the office yeah. that's like, this is our marketing plan, change the address. Well, and I, you could go back to the new agent scenario. It, it really depends upon what is the perception I'm trying to create yes. right, in yes. the video. And if yes. the perception is yes. I'm a young, firing on all cylinders, mm -hmm. everything going mm -hmm. on crazy. Mm -hmm. You hired me because of a technical skill set or that's a competitive edge. Yep. I would do what you just said yes. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I, oh man, uh -oh. I just got a good idea for I a video I can't split as well. this three ways. Go yes. ahead. In, in that scenario is, is how do you start potentially winning attention for the purpose of the meeting with your outbound content ahead yep. of time? Yeah. yeah. So for example, oh, if yeah. you can cast a line out into your marketplace to find a potential buyer for your listing before you show up to the listing appointment, having mm -hmm. created content around, you know, I have an appointment this week with somebody who's looking to try and sell a house in this area that's going to be this, this, oh, yeah. and actually try and try and go fishing before you get to the appointment. You've already done the work before the work, right? Well, it's assuming the listing, and and a lot of 1, our thousand, a lot yeah, of our a lot of our clients this. do that. Yes. Like I'm yes. thinking of Gary Gold, yes. who's like, yep. There is no choice. I just took it. <laughs> I just took the listing. We're getting hey, to work I wanted, now. To, let, I wanted yeah. to let you know, on, on, I've already emailed yeah. 250 brokers in the marketplace, letting them know that I have a property yeah. on this street with some of these features without too much detail. Right. And I already have seven people that have raised their hand. Awesome. So I wanted to let you know, even though I haven't come over yet, I'm already working for you. Just something like that that just yeah. has people go, all right, now when, now as when. As long as it's honest. Please. That's so good. Yeah. Please. Yes. Yeah. It's yes. great. Yes. yes. As long, it. Key, as long as it's honest. Yeah, don't, All right. Don't lie. So I don't have a knife to cut that up, but I think this was really valuable. So thank you guys <laughs> yeah, so much. I feel like um, I'm playing Monopoly. Here's right. houses. Right. Okay. Yes, exactly. To make up for a hotel. Okay, that's community That's good. Chest. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I really feel, if you're listening only right now, it's very important that every now and then you pop into YouTube to watch the yes. demonstration of, of the value <laughs> delivery that was here today with food. So thank you so much for watching. Hey, would you do me a favor? Would you... Tell me of these two, which one gave you the most value in the comments? Oh, sorry guys, let's just have some fun. Will you do it for me? Seriously, I would really love it. Um, thank you so much, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, do all that good stuff, we love you. Thank you so much, see you soon.